today we are about to present to you one of the projects being undertaken in the center and that is a project on the analytical process control system. What we did first, we integrated a different control system from the original one, which is the PLC S7-1200. So we began by writing a code on the same, and then we, the goal of the project is to include a digital twinning, to include a facial recognition system where we can only allow authorized access only to access the machine, then a chatbot to allow interaction with the machine. Then, in addition, we also integrated a HMI, the human machine interface, a, a system where we can interact apart from the facial recognition and the chatbot, you can interact with it from a panel, the control system of the HMI system. The first part was the facial recognition, where we used deep, deep learning models uh, that learned the features of your face so that if it's given another image of you that it's never seen before, it can automatically recognize it. And then the second one was the chatbot. So the chatbot was a bit intelligent because you didn't have to explicitly program it that if you say this, it plays it in this way. So you, when you tell it something, it figures out what you mean and gives you an appropriate reply, which is also what we used to control the machine. The process involved it involves taking the machine, the physical machine, and representing it on the computer using an AutoCAD design so that you can control the machine on the computer without having to be physically here in, next to the machine. We basically created signals in the computer similar to the signals we had created on the machine so that the two can run concurrently. So you can see what is happening here is what it will be happening here. That's the basics of digital twinning. It's representing data from in the computer that is physical. The analytical process control system is a system that uh, strives to maintain the process, uh, uh, strives to maintain the pH values of a process fluid in a system. So in this case, uh, think about uh, whenever you want to do a uh, sewage treatment, you would want the, uh, the sewage water or the, the sewer water to have a certain pH value. Now the system that we're going to show you allows that to be achieved. But furthermore, the research aspect of this project is that our students have created a virtual assistant for the system. So with their project or with, with whatever they have done, one could be able to uh, talk to the machine in natural languages and also the machine can be able to identify the individual or rather the operator of the machine and therefore ground, grant access. Hello, I am your assistant, Red. What can I do for you? So in some way, it, is, it provides authentication as well as virtual assistant uh, capabilities similar to what you would have for Google Assistant or Siri for smartphones. At Liquid Siemens, we strive to provide quality, professional, industrial grade training to our students. And being part of an institution of higher learning, we also try to marry research and industry together.